Hello, my name is Robert Newman. I'm a real estate online marketing expert uh, with a decade's worth of experience uh, that is real estate only and more specifically real estate online marketing. I'm comparing Easy Agent Pro and Real Geeks today. The first question on my comparison sheet is do you own the website? And in the answer of Easy Agent Pro versus Real Geeks, the answer in both cases is no, you do not. The concept is very similar to uh, when you have a discussion with your customers about whether you should rent or own the same thing uh, their, your own home the same thing holds true with websites the advantage of renting a website is that these companies these two which are the best on the marketplace have really figured out conversion okay conversion is where somebody comes into the website they click a few buttons and they get automatically asked to submit their information Okay, the website does all of that for you. You don't have to figure it out, and it's very clean. They operate very well, and if somebody submits their information, you now have a lead that you can follow up on, or you can have your sales team follow up on one or the other. All right, uh, Easy Agent uh, Pro isn't quite as aggressive, but you just have to trust me. They've got registration triggers in here, and if you click around enough, you're gonna you're gonna see them. All right, so same thing, same lead generation mechanism for both websites. You look at listings long enough and you'll get asked to register with the site. Okay, and all of that is done for you. It comes out of the box set up that way, so you don't have to worry about any of the setup time or energy. 95% of the other solutions on the marketplace aren't even this good, and both Easy Agent Pro and Real Geeks will get you a 1% to 3% conversion rate. I do go over conversion rate um, a lot more in depth when I cover the direct advertising element on my spreadsheet, so you can go down there if you want to learn a lot more information about conversion rates. Having said all that, let's talk about some of the uh, the lack or the, the things that you're giving up unless you own the website. So if you don't own the website, uh, you cannot in all good conscience build the site up using high value content and uh, long-term strategies because moving this kind of value will get very complicated and the people that are producing the website which will not make it easy for you. Not intentionally, but the kind of technology that they're using makes it hard for them to accommodate requests. So if for some reason they, they did accommodate your request, there'd be a, a good amount of expense and time associated with it. This is my website that you're looking at right here. The reason I'm showing it to you is because I own this website. Why is that important? Because I'm in control of my marketing. I have created a lot of really valuable content on this website. I've done it in a very short amount of time. This is January of 2017. And I've, I've created 16,000 users. I've gotten about five or 600 email addresses. And I own all of this. Now, you do own your email addresses, but you don't own the website that's creating them. Um, so uh, why is this relevant? Well, there's three or four different reasons. One, if you do a very good organic marketing campaign, which you cannot really do with these websites, there's a lot of long-term value built into that proposition. A good organic marketing campaign can last for years. And why is that? Well, if you build the best page on the internet for a particular topic, Google has always awarded that page with uh, with first place rankings, assuming that you knew how to promote the page. All right. So all of these conversations about how people get penalized in real estate and why SEO isn't worth the time. Well, it's people who've always cut corners and have never taken the time and the energy to to produce the best pages. An excellent example of this is uh, um, somebody that I've done a little bit of work for over the years. Uh, is Manny USA. This is a website, Tallahassee. This uh, one agent does 10% of the total volume in houses, and you'll just have to trust me because I have access. He actually does about 20 times that, that amount of traffic. If he was to sell this website today, he could probably get about $200,000 for it. So when you own a website, not only are you in control of your lead source, but a couple of other factors come into play. One, the way that you develop the leads generates a higher quality lead. Um, two, you can sell the website and most of the time you're gonna get all of the money that you ever spent in marketing back. 
Uh, three, you're not at the whim of, of companies that may or may not sell their company, may or may not make changes that benefit you or potentially don't benefit you. The amount of times that I've been involved with real estate agents that have had a well-meaning real estate technology company make a major change, but happen to affect their particular niche or their area poorly is in like uncountable. So all of these things are gone away if you own the site. So ultimately, while I, I just want to make super clear that while these are both amazingly good um, solutions uh, in terms of not owning your own website, the best on the marketplace, in my opinion, it, nothing compares to actually owning the site.